So today I will talk about uh, Cypress and features of Cypress and I'll show you how is how it is easy to write the test for Cypress. So what is Cypress? Uh, a tool for reliably testing anything that runs in a web browser. So uh, it is it is built on Node.js and packed as an npm module as it's as it is based on a Node.js environment you it uses JavaScript but 90% of the coding is done uh, using uh, it, uh, using the uh, Cypress inbuilt commands. Uh, it also uh, comes packed with uh, jQuery, so you can use jQuery methods and Cypress tests. Most of the uh, uh, testing tools operate by running uh, uh, outside of the browser and executing a remote command across the network. But uh, the Cypress engine directly operates inside the browser. In other words, it is a browser that is executing your test code. Let's talk about some features uh, for Cypress. The first one is time travel. Every time, uh, every every time a Cypress uh, runs a command, it will take a screenshot of each com uh, each uh, each step after after running that command. Uh, and second feature. Debugability, as you you can you can run Cypress in on your browser. You can directly, if if there are some failures, you can directly debug the application. Third one is automatic waiting. Uh, Cypress, if for example, if uh, if you want to click on button and the button is still not available in DOM, and Cypress will automatically wait for wait wait for uh, for for the DOM to to get the to get the button <clears throat> and the fourth one and screenshot and video if if there are some cypress failure the cypress will take a screenshot and if you want to record a video of whole testing you can also do that uh, in your for setup and installation for your personal project you can install cypress uh, by running npm command but for online you just have to add a an extra flag called enable Cypress in your configuration on your configuration command. Once you do that, uh, you can move to change directory to Cypress test folder and uh, and run make run desktop command and you and uh, and it will start uh, interactive uh, Cypress. Uh, you can also run a specific. Uh, Spec uh, spec file directly from from your CLI. Uh, let's see how can we write a Cypress test. There are generally three phases to write a Cypress test. Uh, first one is set up an application state. Second one is take an action, and third is make an assertion about the resulting application state. Let's see the first one. Uh, first step. First step is to visit the web application on which you want to perform the test. For, for that, we have a helper function called before all that which will take care of it and it will open also open the particular test document on which you want to test. For uh, for example, in this case, we have test.odt. Uh, if we run this, then it will show something like this. On, uh, on the left, every time uh, Cypress uh, runs uh, command, it will log out that command. So on the left, you, uh, on the left of test, you can see that. And the second one is take an action. Uh, for for this example, we have taken uh, we have written test for insert shape. So we have to uh, do the ticking button and uh, all these things to insert a shape. The last step, last step is to assert the changes. As we got the new state of the document, we need to assert the changes. For this example, we need to make sure the image is inserted in the document. And there is a small video for. Uh, 
in online uh, we have two two uis uh, notebook by ui and uh, classic ui by default uh, by default uh, cypress runs on classic ui all the uh, but uh, but in so 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 to run the test with the notebook by ui you just need to pass uh, a notebook bar parameter uh, when you run make when you when you execute make run command uh, it makes sense to use the same spec file uh, for notebook bar because most of the things remain same only only the ui changes so i, I have just uh, converted that insert step uh, test to uh, make compatible with the notebook bar Uh, the um, type uh, one of the limitations of Cy Cypress is that you can't uh, test multiple types or multiple browser windows at the same time. So for the multi-user test in online, we have a workaround. We use uh, two iframes on the same type to multi-user test. We can run multi-user test. Uh, we can execute multi-user test using um, a command. and yeah that's thank you for listening